is indication of its presence. You basically walked smack dab in the middle of it, or sailed smack dab into the middle of it. Uh, it disappeared equally quickly. The damage to the ship was enough that it's had to go very, very slowly through this. It's only got the only sail that the captain is comfortable using is the foremast, which is not as large as the mainmast. So the the progress is quite slow. The events before we ended off last time were such that uh, the last rites were given to the former captain and the one crewmate who was slain during the attack of the Lizardmen. Uh, and they were, their remains were interred to the sea with the, uh, the solitary notes of the mariner's whistle, that very famous... Oh god. Sorry. Let me see if I can YouTube it. Okay, I can't find a good clip of it, so fuck that. So, as we return to the Weaver... Yes, the, kidney. The crew and the captain have been discussing some of the details of the damage. The time is about... Oh, well, it's getting pretty late in the evening. I would say it's around 9 or 10. Sunset was a while ago. It's, it's quite dark, even with the light sources that are on the ship. Holg went below decks shortly after the uh, the ceremony for the cap the former captain and the crewmate. Uh, Dunwood, who what the fuck? Portent. Okay. So um, while Dunwood is pacing around the ship, looking a little bit. Disheveled, not quite certain what he's uh, what he's going to be doing. Pedwin takes a seat near the edge of the deck and begins to. I'm doing a handstand. Begins to do a handstand, uh, and mumble a few things to himself, and he kind of sways back and forth slightly. Uh, from what anyone can gather, he appears to be trying to attune himself to the forces of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Dunwood is moving around speaking to the various crewmates and they are commenting on the current state of damage to the ship and how quickly they'll be able to get underway again. While all this is going on, well, is there any particular actions aside from uh, Pedwin doing a handstand that anyone would like to do? Take my penis out. Okay. What? Danny whips his dick out. Uh, can I chop it off? Make an attack roll. Oh, God. You best put that thing away. Fine. But I have a raging erection, and you can see it through my pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Danny's member is, is straining against the comparatively weak fabric that is doing its very best to contain his schlong. The reason boner. NRB is the best, man. Uh, so amongst all this, Holg pops his head back out from the Hello. hold. Everyone kind of turns very rapidly as he just bursts out. And he says, well, we had a fight. We drink in a lot. And then disappears right back down immediately, not waiting for anyone's response. Back down into the hold. We did that? That was Holg. Oh, I'm going down. All right. Wherever it is. I think it's Big here. Big Mo, I guess uh, enthused at the promise of alcohol, jumps down into the hold as well. Yeah. Best to keep me away from flammable things, I think. All right, Pedwin uh, continues to stay in his handstand on the main deck. 
I, I've see seen Steve the future. It the looks hold. grim for me and alcohol. <laughs> Or perhaps bright is the right word. <laughs> that means you should drink. Okay, so uh, on that note, a couple of the crewmen, they exchange some excited looks, and one of them also departs down into the hold. Let's go with uh, the guy that the captain was not talking to. <laughs> and he disappears down into the hold as well. So, Big Mo, upon entering the hold of the ship, you discover that Holg has, with surprising speed, already made his way to one of the barrels and is basically just cracked it open, and he is pouring himself a big foaming tankard of ale. I want to do the same thing. That looks good. All right. I don't actually say that looks good, but... He uh, meanders his way over rather excitedly to the the beer that's being poured, and Holg, without even looking directly at him, just shoves a mug under his nose. Nice. He turns to the crewman, who was also the one that was mocking him uh, during his previous incarceration, and just stares him down a little bit. And the crew member backs off just a step and begins pouring himself ale from a different barrel in a significantly smaller tankard. <laughs> and he goes to sit down. Actually, you know what? He doesn't sit down there because that's where his friend died. So he does not sit down there. <laughs> Hulk turns to Big Mo, takes an equally large tankard as the one that was shoved under his face, and raises it up in front of him. I'll raise up mine, assuming what I'm supposed to do. That is exactly what you're supposed to do. The two of you clash tankards and a little bit of each other's ale spills into the cup as is exactly the purpose of a cheers and the two of you begin to chug 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 make a constitution saving throw uh, chug 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 ah uh, second number ah uh, no Okay. Crewmate so, this for the crewmates and Hulk. It's for the crewmate and Hulk, yes. Right, I forgot you guys can see those. Right, because Hulk is his thing is publicly available. Let me fix that. Okay, that's better. Okay, so. Uh. Big Mo, in the midst of chugging the... He upends the mug a little bit too much, and, and uh, some of the ale kind of cascades back and hits the back of his throat, and he coughs and sputters a little bit about halfway through. Uh, and you can see that Holg is watching you out of the corner of his eye, and uh, a bit of a grin starts to curl up at the corners of his mouth, and you, you can see a little bit more of his teeth as he continues to just pound this thing back. And surprisingly, the crewman, having no difficulty keeping up with him, actually slams his tanker down first. And uh -oh. Hulk is... The, immediately the smile disappears from Hulk's face. He is not happy that he lost that little contest. <laughs> up on deck, the captain is continuing to chat to one of his crewmen, and you hear a heavy sigh, and he says, Go ahead. And his crewman, rather excitedly, runs down into the hold as well. <laughs> uh, let's see, who's still up here? I'm confused. Are we playing Dungeons and Dragons, or are we drinking? Because I'm okay with both. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go started. get a beer. Woo! That's a good idea. What time is it? Yep, I'm going to too. I'll be back. All right, so. Uh... 
while I get back, Danny and Pedwin, you can decide what you're going to do. I am going to play my lute and sing songs about cradles. I'm going to fix my Plex server.